All right, first graders, get out your writing journal. Now it is your turn to write with me. We're going to do the first sentence together, but on the second sentence, I want you to try it on your own, okay? So you're gonna get your writing journals out that we've been writing in every day. Find your next new page. Put a, a, go ahead and pause the video so you can find the supplies that you need. Okay, if you are unpaused, that means you've got your journal right beside you and you're ready to work. I see a picture of a girl, I see singing, and I see the woods. So a sentence that I could write, I can't say girl sings woods. It doesn't make sense. I need all those little connecting words like in and the and to. So I might say the girl sings in the woods. Say it with me. The girl sings in the woods. Let's count how many words that will be. The girl sings in the woods. Six words. So you're going to need a pencil. Pick up your pencil. We start with a capital letter for the word the, capital T, the, T-H-E spells the. The, finger space between your words, girl. Let's segment girl. G, er, ol. G, er. Now if I say G-R, it'll say gr. If I want to make the er sound, I actually need I R. G, er, ol. The girl. Finger space between your words. Let's break apart sings. S, e, m, g, s. Five sounds here. Here we go. S, e, m, g, s. The girl sings. Finger space in. Now remember, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause your video, use your eraser if you need to, or just catch up. The girl sings in. Finger space. The. Finger space. Woods. W. Uh, d. Period at the end of my sentence. Now, some of you are probably thinking, Ms. Mitchell, what are you talking about finger space? Finger space is the space in between that's about the size of your finger. Your finger should be able to fit in between every single word. That helps us know where a word starts and where a word ends. So it's really important that there's space in between all of your words. All right, let's use our checklist to check our work. We know that our first thing we need to have is a capital letter at the beginning of the sentence. If I look at the beginning of my sentence, my T is capitalized. Check your work to make sure that is the only capital you have in this sentence. The next thing we always check for is punctuation. Punctuation is your period, the dot at the end of your sentence that tells the reader your sentence or your idea is finished. So you'll need to check the end of your sentence to make sure you have a period just like I do. Finger space between. You'll see my little yellow mark showing that I have a space between all my words, but take your finger and see if it fits between every word. The finger space. Girl sings in the woods. You should have five spaces where your fingers fit. Last thing we do is to reread and make sure we have every word we need for the sentence to make sense. Read it with me and pointing to your words. The girl sings in the woods. Okay, now we've got ours completed on this one. We're going to move on to the next slide. This is the one that I want you to do on your own. We have a dog, we have jumps, and we have grass. I want you to give me a sentence, dog, jump. Grass. Now, we're not going to write dog jumps grass, right? I want you to speak a sentence out loud that makes sense, like a dog jumps in the grass. I want you to write your sentence in your journal. Take a picture of both sentences today and send them to me. You may use crayons to color and draw a picture at the top of your page. 
So give me a sentence with dog, jump, and graph. You can pause your video so you can keep seeing this picture before you finish your writing. Go ahead and pause the video.